BBC News. Counting is taking place in Brazil's elections, with the far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, facing a strong challenge from his left-wing rival, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Lula described it as the most important vote in the country's history. Mr Bolsonaro said he would accept the result if there wasn't fraud. He has repeatedly cast doubt on the integrity of the election. There are reports of gunfire in the Iranian capital Tehran at the entrance to the country's most prestigious science and engineering university. Videos on social media show students at Sharif University running from members of the security forces who are riding motorbikes. There has been weeks of anti-government unrest in Iran. Mediators in Burkina Faso say the military leader, who was ousted in a coup on Friday, has formally agreed to step down. Paul-Henri Damiba had set several conditions, including a guarantee of his security. Unconfirmed reports say he has left for neighbouring Togo. Fourteen people have been killed by rebels during an attack on a village in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Local officials blamed fighters from the Allied Democratic Forces, or ADF. A six-month ceasefire in Yemen's civil war has ended. According to the United Nations, no agreement has been reached on extending the truce between Houthi rebels and a Saudi-led coalition. The UN said talks aimed at renewing the deal would continue. Bulgaria's former Prime Minister Kirill Petkov has admitted defeat in parliamentary elections on Sunday. Exit polls suggest a narrow victory for another of the country's former leaders, Boyko Borisov, and his centre-right Gerb party. And the health authorities in Haiti say a cholera outbreak has killed up to eight people. Officials are investigating several possible cases in the outskirts of the capital, Port-au-Prince. An outbreak 12 years ago killed almost 10,000 Haitians. BBC News.